I'm Melissa, your Free Range Psychic, and now for something completely different. It's April the 5th, 2020, and today I decided to do a past life reading on a member of the Trump administration who uh, my guides tell me uh, uh, was a member of the Nazi party. Now how this all got started was I was having a conversation with somebody and for some reason it just came up because you know they are they seem uh, they all seem like reincarnated native Nazis and I, I uh, it came to me that oh I'll just ask my guides maybe uh, this will be something that will be interesting and kind of get off the topic of the um, of the coronavirus and uh, yeah give us a little bit of dis uh, distraction. So when I asked my guides which basically I asked them, well, were there members of the Trump administration who were Nazis in, in their past life? They said yes. Uh, I asked if Trump was. They said no, not Trump. Uh, and then I asked, well, who? And they told me Stephen Miller and Matt Gates. Now, this is not an exhaustive list, but those were the two names that I got. So I decided to focus on Steve Miller in this reading. I may do Matt Gates and uh, find out who he was in another reading. Uh, so I asked my guides, well, okay, can you help me find out who he was? And in this process, uh, I found this list of alphabetized, um, uh, or an alphabetized list of Nazi, uh, members of the Nazi party. And then I asked my guides, can you tell me the initials? And so they gave me the initials PG. So I found this uh, uh, list of um, uh, Nazi members whose name, last names began with G. And I went through the list the first time I didn't see it. I, I, I didn't see any um, uh, names that began with a, a first name of P. But then when I went uh, through the list a second time, I saw in parentheses, Paul, and then out of the parentheses, Joseph Goebbels. And I asked my guys, is, is, this, is this who Stephen Miller was? And they said, yes. So then I decided to do some research on both of them. I, the first thing I did was look at photographs of both of them. I wanted to compare them uh, to see if they resembled each other because that can happen. Um, it's not unusual to uh, resemble who you were in your past life, especially in your most recent past life. And I saw uncanny resemblances. So I made the slideshow at the beginning, that intro, and you can see uh, there's a lot of similarity between these, those two men. And then I looked at their um, uh, histories and, you know, their present careers and, or, or Stephen Miller's present career and Goebbels' career in, the, uh, in that lifetime. And they're very, very similar. Uh, so <laughs> I decided that I would um, do a, a channel channeling, asking my guides more information. Uh, and this is combined with some research. Um, from Wikipedia, which is mainly just the factual research, you know, that uh, when they were born, when uh, Goebbels died, where, um, uh, that kind of thing. Um, and then I, I got just unfiltered information from my guides. It's not from research. Uh, and then I, I do a tarot <laughs> layout. Um, so, okay, Paul Joseph Goebbels, uh, born October 29th, 1897, dies, uh, uh, May 1st, 1945, he committed suicide and uh, uh, had um, his wife commit suicide and also gave his children cyanide. He had six children, I think one survived a uh, son. Uh, and, and this was the day after Hitler uh, committed suicide in his bunker. And he actually became chancellor of Germany for one day and then uh, decided that the writing was on the wall. He had to, uh, he had to exit <laughs> quickly and he did it uh, through uh, suicide. Um, Stephen Miller uh, was born August 23rd, 1985. Uh, he was the second of three children, raised in a Jewish family. Father was a real estate inventor, uh, investor named Michael Miller. Uh, and his uh, mother's name was Miriam, but there's no uh, occupation given. He, uh, so on his mother's side, his ancestors immigrated to the United States from uh, Russia, arriving in New York in 1903, escaping the anti-Jewish pogroms at the time. And uh, when his great-grandmother arrived in 1906, she spoke only Yiddish. 
historical language of the Ashkenazi Jews. The irony, <laughs> uh, he is so anti-immigrants, uh, he would have uh, let his own <laughs> ancestors, uh, according to his present policy, languish on Ellis Island uh, uh, or more draconian uh, camps, I would imagine. Uh, it's hard to fathom how people who have that history can be the way they are in the present day. I, I can't. I can't fathom it. So at one point he was the press secretary for Michelle Bachman, remember her? And then in 2009 he works for Jeff Sessions and that is how he uh, is introduced to Trump. Uh, so he literally is now in the same position really that Goebbels was with Hitler. He's behind the scenes uh, for the most part, he does come out and give speeches. He writes a lot of Trump's speeches. He is extremely influential in uh, Trump's immigration policy. Uh, and uh, he is uh, a force to be reckoned with, uh, very much so. And he's lasted. Think of everybody who's, you know, gone to the wayside, but he is still there implementing his tyrannical uh, and cruel policies against uh, uh, asylum seekers and uh, immigrants of uh, Hispanic, African origin, Muslims. Uh, he, he is uh, really following in Goebbels' footsteps, wouldn't you say? He married uh, C Catherine Rose Waldman uh, in February 2020. <laughs> it's amazing to me that somebody married him, but somebody married Goebbels too. Uh, uh, so my guides say for sure Stephen Miller was Joseph Goebbels. This was the first card that my guides chose. This is really a reincarnation. This is uh, the angel Gabriel uh, waking up souls to, to become reborn, bringing the dead back to life. All the, I think you can see these two figures. Do you see them? They could, they could be uh, representing uh, Miller and Goebbels, really. Above, Knight of Swords, both uh, were right-hand men for tyrannical dictators. It's their role, right? This is the Three of Pentacles. Oh, here it is. But there's also the Four of Pentacles. These can come together. So this is, this is Steve Miller. If you can imagine the, the immigration policy of our country right now, you can't you can't have anything from us we have limited resources that are only for americans and really for white americans and uh, you can't you can't take this from us you can't have this this is ours so we're going to lock you from out uh from this prosperity because there's only so much and we are taking it all and sitting in the same position is the three of pentacles so this is so clearly if you think about Goebbels and uh, the, being the minister of propaganda, being the minister of spin to gin up the base of the Nazis to get them to acquiesce and participate in um, in the genocide of the Jews and of the various other peoples and to uh, bring on this uh, 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 nationalism of, uh, of the, German, uh, the German government uh, as well as, you know, uh, <laughs> participate in the disastrous policy of world domination, which spectacularly failed. Um, Goebbels had an integral part in that. Obviously, he was the leader of that ministry. Uh, Miller's the same. He, he has the same um, role, really, behind the scenes to use propaganda. And I'm sure he probably has Mein Kampf and... Uh, Goebbels' philosophy of propaganda right there. He's taking it from from uh, the uh, you know the Bible of uh, <laughs> of Nazism. This is where it's coming from. And look at that fire down there. This is really equating this fire here. See, is 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 that fire coming from that source? In the future, this is the Five of Swords. This is uh, now Stephen Miller. Uh, let me see in my notes what they said about this. 
So this is Miller using the coronavirus to enforce even more stringent immigration policies in even more draconian ways. Disaster capitalism. You use what's at hand to get what you want. And you do it via spin and propaganda. Above the clarifying card, Ten of Wands. So my guides say this is karma. This is uh, Miller carrying all these lifetimes on his back, still trudging up that uh, you know incline, uh, not looking at the moon, not not looking at any spiritual. Um, uh, revelation and realization or, 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 or need for meaning. Uh, he's just on, on this really linear path to uh, bring in um, the final solution. And, and Goebbels was the same. And, and they are the same person. I think that's also what this means. I asked for a clarifying card. So I, I get the Ten of Swords. So these wands turn into these swords and, and this uh, uh, this was Gorbel's fate. Um, he, he and his wife and uh, his children dead by ingesting cyanide uh, uh, because the Nazi uh, empire is defeated. So it ends in disaster, his life. And uh, they say that uh, somehow this is Stephen Miller's fate too, not, not suicide by cyanide, uh, but when I've pressed them for what that, that meant for him, they're saying that he's going to be uh, tried for crimes against humanity in the future. And this is going to be uh, not nothing he can kind of slide out of. This is going to be really uh, uh, disastrous for him. Uh, he's going to be held accountable for his crimes here. And this may mean imprisonment. It is exposure for sure. Interesting in this card because he's not seeing, you see how this woman is blind, still not seeing that he did anything wrong, still not paying attention to the higher um, uh, consequence, still stuck in that mode of ego and uh, greed and uh, sociopathy, so uh, um, his, his sense of ego so inflated. Uh, so he may be caught, but he's not going to be learning anything from this outcome card. The tower, the end of Trump's administration, everything falling down, falling apart. So this would be Stephen Miller falling out of this tower, echoing what happened to Goebbels. Everything comes full circle. So again, this fire, look at this fire. So we would look at this fire and then we look at uh, the um, spin of the three of pentacles. And then it resulting in that. It reminds me of Hellboy. I don't know if anybody's seen that movie Hellboy, the beginning of it. <laughs> that really, uh, if you haven't seen Hellboy and if you have a stomach for um, those kinds of films that have mega violence, but, um, and I don't actually watch many films that are really violent, but ones that are meaningful, I, I will watch. And I really liked Hellboy. I thought that opening with the Nazis, they, they were trying to create a portal through to let um, the devil um, uh, come in so that they could, uh, you know, have supernatural powers. And they wanted to to create um, a, uh, I think, a, <laughs> a, a child uh, of, from Satan and uh, a human and that's how Hellboy got created. I, I don't know if that's a spoiler alert, but uh, it's it's exactly that card, the tower, <laughs> that whole beginning of Hellboy. It's a great movie. Uh, so that is the reading. Everybody asks, when is Trump going to end? All these psychics, they say, you know, uh, it's the end of the Trump administration, but he's still there. I, I know it's really frustrating. Uh, I, I feel the same way, but my, I got, my guides still say that it will end, and this is part of it. And I, I, initially I was going to do a reading uh, on the cards that I chose for the year uh, when I did that reading for the new year. 
I was going to go back and start in April. I may do that next week because I wanted to see where we were and how accurate and inaccurate my predictions were. Uh, but the angels see time differently. It's very frustrating, but it's just um, the angelic realm has a, a, a different perception. And also things, uh, timing uh, is also important. Maybe there are things that are happening now that are illuminating us that are really going to change the course of our trajectory that may not change if this stuff doesn't happen as horrible as it is. It calls us to uh, wake up. And maybe that is why Trump is still in power. But I always get uh, the answer that, that his administration will end, that he won't run again. Uh, but if he, he runs, he wouldn't win. So we'll see what happens. We got, for the Oracle card for us, this card. Priorities. This is King Solomon. I will read what Doreen Virtue uh, wrote regarding this card. Uh, devote time to your highest priorities, even if it means getting to bed earlier or later. This is a wonderful time to work on projects that can be near and dear to your heart or that are near and dear to your heart. Even if you're confused about how to approach this project or you fear whether you'll be able to accomplish your dreams, do it anyway. You'll feel elated by the time and energy you invest into your true prior, uh, into your true priorities because your inner self will feel loved and well cared for. <laughs> As you invest in your priorities, you're investing in yourself. Additional meanings, let go of procrastination or perfectionism. Break your major goals into baby steps and take one step at a time. Revamp your schedule so that you devote regular time to your priorities. Be assertive in uh, saying no to anything that diverts you from your path. King Solomon ruled Israel following the death of his father, King David. Solomon was a wise and open-minded man who understood the power of the goddess thanks to the influence of his many wives. Solomon used spiritual alchemy to build the temple of the Ark of the Covenant based upon the architectural plans that his father had received in heavenly visions. Call upon King Solomon to resolve dilemmas, to build new projects, and to foster tolerance among various religious and spiritual paths. What a great card to get during this time when uh, so many of us are at home and uh, trying to figure out what to do. This is a fantastic time to look at our priorities and to turn our attention to doing things that we always wish we could do but we're too busy to do. Uh, even I, I want to give myself and everybody else permission even just to do nothing for a while, just to decompensate, to, just to relax um, and uh, get centered. <laughs> and then, you know, think about, do I want to start painting again? Do I want to maybe write that book or poetry? Or do I want to you know, mess around on the guitar? Or the, do I want to record something? There's uh, so much to do. And we don't need to have all this external um, requirement or obligation to, to be productive or to figure out how to have structure in our lives. We're not dependent on it. Maybe we feel dependent on it, but uh, we can create another rhythm. And this is a great time to get out in your garden. I, I have uh, for the last couple days. I feel pretty good about that. Uh, I have all this time now to clean my garden up and to prepare the beds for um, what comes next and uh, it feels pretty good. I'm going to get out there this afternoon too because it's it's a beautiful day today. Saying that, <laughs> I like to remind everybody at this time that I am available for uh, readings. I do past life readings, obviously. 
uh, anything in the present uh, life and uh, I'm a medium and I love to introduce people to their guardian angels I call myself a free range psychic because really you know we can ask the spirit guides anything and see what they what see what they say please take care of yourselves be well boost that immunity <laughs> by getting enough rest, by eating good nutrient, uh, and uh, by doing a lot of self-care. And be well. I love you, and I will see you soon, you guys. Take care of yourselves. Also, I forgot to say, <laughs> there is a musical interlude at the end of the uh, video there, so enjoy.